Hey everyone, Alec here with Veed, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to add a VHS effect to video online. So let's say you have a video and you want to make it look like it was filmed on an old camera or it's being displayed on a video home system, VHS. Well, in this video I'm going to be showing you exactly how to do that with an online video editor called Veed. I'm going to be taking you step by step through the process and I'm going to show you exactly how to import your video into Veed, how to apply a VHS effect, then I'm going to show you how to add some different filters and effects, and then I'm also going to show you how you can adjust your video those settings such as the brightness, contrast, saturation and more. And then at the end obviously how to download your video with its new effects. And with that being said let's get started. So like I mentioned the tool we're going to be using is an online video editor called Veed. So you can either head over to Google and Google Veed which is V-E-E-D and then click on the first link. If not as usual the links are going to be in the description down below. So once you're on Veed, the first step is to click the new project button in the top right and then we're just going to click on upload the files and here we're going to browse our documents and find the video that we want to upload and apply the VHS effect to. So I've got this video that I filmed of a bridge and if I click on open, it's now imported to Veed and this is the video that I want to apply the VHS effect to. So as we can see now, if I click play, as you can see, we have a video of this bridge. So now we've imported our video into Veed, the next step is to apply the VHS effect. So to apply the VHS effect, all we're going to do is actually select the clip in our timeline, or we can select it on the actual video canvas, and then we have the video settings that appear. So now we can adjust a bunch of things about this specific video clip in the timeline. Now to add the VHS effect at the top of this menu, as you can see, we've got three tabs. We've got the settings tab, the adjust tab, and the filters tab. If I click on the filters tab, we're now taken into the filters and effects tab, and if I close the filters tab, we have this effect right here. So if I click it, as you can see, it's now the VHS effect. And if we take a look on the video canvas, we can see the effect being applied in real time. So if I bring my playhead back to the beginning and now I press play, it looks like it's being played on a video home system. We have this old effect, this aesthetic VHS look. So on top of this, you can also add a bunch of more filters. So as you can see, if I add this one right here, it makes it look a bit more washed, this Auden filter. You can just go through and play around with these. You could want it in black and white with the VHS effect. So on top of the old film effects and filters, you can also adjust your video's contrast, brightness, and more. To adjust our brightness and contrast, again, we're just going to go back to the top tab, and this time we're gonna click on the adjust tab. So if I click this right here, as you can see, we now have the color correction settings, and we can adjust the exposure, brightness, contrast, and saturation. So I'm quickly just going to remove the original filter. So I'm gonna take this one off. So now I only have the VHS effect. And then if I go in back into the adjust tab here, what I'm going to do is actually turn up the exposure a bit. And then I'm just gonna turn down the contrast to make it look a little bit more washed, just like this. And I think this gives it more of a vintage VHS look. Now, obviously you can play around with this entirely. It's entirely up to you. And then once you're happy with it, and you're happy with the way it looks, all you have to do is click export in the top right, then Veed starts to render your video with its new VHS effect, and once it's finished, you can go ahead and preview it and then download it straight to your computer. And that is how to add a VHS effect to your video online using Veed. If you have any questions about VHS effects and Veed's video editor, please let me know in the comment section down below and I'll try and get back to you as soon as possible. And if you enjoyed this video and you found it helpful, please hit the like button, the subscribe button, and the notification bell. Thanks for watching.